listening to I'm a piano in 2020, I just couldn't wrap my head out of something. It sounded so soft and so provocative at the same time. I really just wanted to understand the technique around it and create something like that, but with my own flavor to it. Sometime in 2020, my manager told me Ricardo was trying to get in the studio with me. And um, initially, yeah, I created the beat for Ozumba in another session before I went to this place because I was working with a particular artist and I created three beats in the session which like we eventually didn't use. And when I got to Ricardo's place, I played him these beats and like a couple other beats. And he chose this one and like he chose another one. But he did vibes, like he recorded like series of vocals on him and all of that. Then he asked me to send him the vocals and he asked me to send him the beats for him to record on. Then fast forward to like a couple weeks later, I really can't remember if it's up to a month, but he asked me to send him the beats and the vocals and he sent me like what he did and I loved it. Um, I mean, I wasn't so crazy about it instantly, but like I knew like I could take the music somewhere because the beat wasn't like on this level yet. The beat was like somewhere good enough level but it wasn't on this level yet. Initially, yeah, there is something I sang while it was you know, vibing in the studio the first time we met. He sang idiom or did you feel by me? Well, when he sent me back the finished vocals, he changed it to I'll be on Ozuma. I was like, oh god, that's this again. And well, no yawa. Then I got working, I did my thing with the beat, and I sent him everything. And I was really, really impressed and all of that. And we're here today. So let's get into the making of the beat. Ozuma by Ricardo Banks. <music> I just listened to a song and I really really like the mood I got like I really like the feeling I got while listening to it so I decided to like create something while it's feeling that way and this piano was the first thing I played. I feel like there's something about it that just keeps you going like for every time you listen to it like it just keeps progressing just keeps you going that oh what's coming next was who knows then I also have this sound this part so this ran like almost all through the song this was just supposed to serve as ambience for the song and all of that then after that I moved to the drums because I mean I had the melodies already I had to like find a way to like keep the groove because I didn't understand bam 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 because it sounded weird at the time like I didn't know where I was going with this but I always trust the process I trusted the process and I had my drum I created this drum loop but I chopped it off a sample like and I rearranged it and all of that and I got this. So I mainly took it for the shaker because I couldn't get the shaker at the time. Then I added my own drums to it. So for me, yeah, I was trying to like go against the rules, like things I do not hear on a normal day. The pattern I play the keys, I don't hear it on a normal day. The pattern I play the key, bah, bah, bah. But I don't hear it on a normal day. And I was just trying like trying to go like against the rules and all of that. And that's how I came up with. After that, um I had the conga. That's like pretty much basically 
the roots of the old song, the keys, the pad and the drums and the conga, all of that. So this tan 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 the log bass initially I only had it in the beginning and before the drop. But Ricardo was like, yo, I like that song, what's that? Um let's keep it coming every bro. But when you, whenever the song is going into a new phase, let's bring it in. Like it has as a transition into the new place. So uh brought that from time to time. So from there I added the bass line because I didn't want to use a sluggish bass and I didn't want to use a log drum. I didn't want to use the log drum to play. So I had to use an actual bass line. I almost felt like I was even like trying to make up my piano when, it, when I was creating the song. I feel like I was trying to create something but somehow it found, it found its way. But I knew that day I had my mind set on something different. I had my mind set on being on my piano but in a different way. So for the bass, um, I have this. My favorite part of this bass is this place. Wait. It just gives this sluggish, this sluggish plucky bounce to it it gives a more groove for me so like while everything is riding like i'm also like trying to understand the groove and all, all of that then the next thing i added i feel like this is what inspired um, ricardo to sing because it's so it sort of sounds like that in some way Um, I have the flute and I have this vocal. Then I also have this. That's basically what makes up the whole song. my drum feel and I just keep things going I like building my drums feels by myself and all of that then I've also got these vocals So basically, the vocals also serves as transition into the next phase for me. And that's where we have to drop the most interesting parts of the song, by the way, for me. Um, so I did something with the log drum and the bass. Um, where the log drum was playing, the bass wasn't playing. I mean, I was going to use this initial bass, but I just couldn't use everything here. I had to like copy and paste some of it here. Then I took out some notes. Then I let the log drum do like the old bass thingy. And I have this for the log drum. So it's basically a solo. Um, while when I started this old music thing, um, I fell in love with Major Lazer. I fell in love with Saz. I fell in love with Skrillex for their drops. Cause I mean, there's a part where artists are singing, and there's just that part where like the instrumentals just like goes goes off and like they're probably like doing like a vocal chop or they're doing 
guitar solos or whatnot and all of that like that's one of the things that actually made me fall in love with music production as a whole and so for like every opportunity i get to like showcase myself like i'm always taking it to the max because sheesh i don't care man i always want to kill the artists actually whenever i get the chance because ch artists are always like fond of like showing off their own skills and everything but this one opportunity i get i'm showing off proper 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 um so for the drop i have this um this is a synth that just like keeps going it starts as a ride actually then i have this playing alongside with it and that just keeps going and i have this i'm a piano flute also so normally when you're playing this you should use a saxophone or like the songs that i've actually heard they use saxophones but i decided to use a pan flute for this part then i layered it with one i had so all of that with this So basically all of that just like keeps you going and just keeps you like it gives you the drive basically and i have this part the drop i did like a little vocal thingy um, drum playing so um for the log drum i layered it for this so all of that so like the the mental the mental image i had for this part is i feel like we are all at a party and there is a circle the, like there's a huge circle and like everyone actually has to come out to dance and all of that like it just has to give you that ginger you better give me the ginger you get me just has to give you that ginger just has to give you that um i don't know that excitement that actually comes with um you dance dancing around like round and one person comes into the circle dances then goes back and the next person comes dances and goes back and the only way i could actually achieve that was by adding additional vocals and that's why i just kept on saying here we are Anyway, so just like you're cheering the person out. Okay, just keep going, just keep doing your thing. Go, girl. Come into you. So, that's just my voice, like going away, just like cheering you up. Like, oh, go, girl, you've got this. I like what the I like how the log drum was doing, but I needed one more thing to keep going. So for this part, um, it was passing a very important message and I felt the need to emphasize on that. So like after I had, I just like created a pause that everyone could actually like hear and I created like a dramatic feel. So 
people who like who definitely mm. sing along and when they sing along they actually hear what I'm saying and they actually understand the message trying to pass and all of that. <laughs> So what we have in this place is the log drum and we have the whistle and clap and drums. And for the next part, um, I have this outro. This was just Ajibola show, you know, and this was just so like he played like different solos. I just cut two compass of the solo, took another part of another solo, took another part of another solo, took another part of another solo. Then like I brought everything together, and that's how that's how we were actually able to get this one. And obviously, I have to put my game tag there because I mean I'm literally giving you guys my favorite place to be is the beach because it's just so peaceful and. There's something reassuring about the beach that just like speaks to me and tells me that, oh, yo, my guy, everything will be all right. It's just calm down just like one step at a time. And I like, I like, I like, like it and all of that. So I just had to like bring that into the end of the song and make people understand that, oh, he has said all he has to say about like he has passed his message and all of that. Um, all is going to be all is going to be well and the change we seek will actually eventually pull up. So I have this beat champion sound. You can hear people laughing, like this is this alone is enough to like make me fall asleep and all of that. Like it's just it's just something really soothing about it. Then I added guitar and I added this piano sound. <laughs> So that's basically everything I did for the song. Um, my feels, um, I have this reverse cymbal. I have this storm. I have this snare. Oh yeah, how could I miss out my tag? Can't be me. Um, <coughs> It's literally coming from a far place. Beep, 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 yeah. Beep, 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 beep. When Yepi original was coming, don't need to tell you. And I also have this drum feel. And I've got this. I've got this. And I've got this. And I've got this. And I've got this. And I've got this. final one that's basically everything i did on this song big shout out to the guitarist for coming through big shout out to ricardo for doing this with me and big shout out to cake for like bringing us together and all of that all right guys thank you for watching um please like share and subscribe follow me on all social media on instagram as p dot p r i i m e on Twitter at P R I I M E B A T Z. And yes, peace out.